Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. This is episode... I swore I was going to remember it this time. Episode 35, and we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We went into the Reptite Lair. We defeated Azela and all her minions, or his minions. I never was entirely sure. Uh, we defeated all of Azela's minions. And Lavos fell from the sky, and we ended up at this weird gate. I'm actually going to head back through here real quick, because that should take us back to the end of time, and uh, complete the set. Yes, there we go. And while I'm here at the end of time, let's go ahead and hit this thing that should uh, restore all our hit points and magic points for free. Just for kicks, let's talk to old man Gaspar. What a peculiar new guest. You're from the Middle Ages, yes? Oh, I thought you were going to say something useful. And everybody's been in to see Specchio for the magic at 36. Mm, I'm, I'm tempted to take him on, but I'd really rather be closer to level 38. Uh, you know what? Just for kicks. Since we're here. Let's go ahead and give it a try. See, this is his level um, 30 to 38 form. <laughs> what do you want? You looking for some practice? Sure. Why not? Step right up. Da, 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 da. Oh, I should have upgraded everybody's armor real quick. Doggone it. Because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be nice enough and focus on uh, fire magic. Um, ooh, yep. Especially like that. Ooh, no, no, no. That aura whirl's not going to be enough. Nearly enough. He, oh, no. I got off on a bad foot. Yep. No. This be a mistake. Because he is about to burn Luca to the ground. I need somebody with a better area heal. Well, the flares seem to work, work pretty good. Maybe I can make this happen. Mm, I'm not healing as much as... as much as I'm taking. This feels like a losing proposition. Yeah, here comes the Ice Age. Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So she can take a hit. And she's... Ah, she's a razor nick away from dying. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Nope. Here it goes. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay. So, let's try a couple things. Let's go ahead and restore the hit point and magic point. Let's do a little party rearrange. Instead of Luca, let's bring in Robo. Because he's got the heal beam. And let's swap out Marley for Frog. Frog's got a little more hit points, a better attack. And he's still got some okay healing magic. Let's try this one again. We'll give it a second try, and then we'll get back to uh, to wherever that cave took us. All right. Let's start off with a quick triple attack just to open this up. Although I got a... Oh, it missed? Oh, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. At this point, I forgot that at this point, he's pretty much impervious to physical attacks. So, it's, um, magic or nothing. Ooh. Um, shoot, that's what I get for being distracted, talking. 
Oh, and I keep forgetting. I needed to equip a bunch of stuff. Um, ooh, uh, 45 to 52. That's a seven point bump. You lose the uh, magic defense plus five, but we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Yep. That's already 45. That's 45, so we'll go ahead and put that on. And we'll get her... The, uh, Mist Robe. In the Mist Robe. So that bumps up all their defenses. All right. We'll uh, head back to the free hit point restore. Change up the party. And go back to where we were. I'm not going to keep fighting Specchio right now. Um, go to the Earthbound Isle, 12,000 BC. Is that where we were? Hmm. So what is this Earthbound Isle? Uh, it would appear to be the Ice Age. What do we have in this Ice Age? We've got a Terra Cave. Nothing off to the south. Is there a mountain pass in here? Nope. Nope. Okay. Anything off to the east? Oh, what's this? We've got a skyway. Okay. His life is a skyway. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That, that's a different song. All right. Terror Cave or the Skyway? Let's do the Terror Cave first. Just to see what's in there. Oh. A ladder that we can't get up. Well, that was a waste of a good long walk. All right. So I guess we're not doing anything at the Terra Cave. We're going to head on over to the uh, to the Skyway. Beam me up. Asia. Okay. And the land bridge. Let's start our journey here. Oh, there be people and things. This is the magic kingdom of zeal where dreams can be made reality. Oh, somebody missed the perfect opportunity for a little bit of poetry. But nothing in this world comes free. There's always a price to be paid. Um, hmm. Okay, so I guess that's a fire book. Welcome to Anhasia, Zeal's city of dreams. We seek enlightenment within the bliss of sleep. Hmm, you are not of us, are you? What's that supposed to mean? You are most unusual visitors. Am I waking, or is this but a continuation of my dream? Regardless of that, I welcome you to Zeal. Her Majesty Queen Zeal rules this magic kingdom. She is without peer in beauty or grace. She's listening, isn't she? We owe our prosperity to Her Majesty the Queen. After the king died, she encouraged the development of our kingdom's magical powers, which has led to great advancements in sleeping.
Anything special there? Okay, nope. All right. Oh, that's a water book. Good to know is there. The world you see with your eyes may well differ completely from the one I see with mine. Somebody was working on their poetry major when they were writing this part of the game, or their philosophy major, weren't they? There are as many different worlds as there are observers. Never assume that only those things which you can see or touch are real. Do you believe in such things as fate? Do you believe? Do you think it possible our lives are predetermined within the structure of the game? Well, yep, sure. So you're a believer too. Yes, perhaps it is arrogant to think ourselves strong enough to overturn destiny. Unless the DM gives you a destiny point. Truth exists in dreams. The world exists in me. Uh, I'll have a glass of what he's drinking. Alright, so that was fire. That was water. The city of Kajar, the high seat of magical research, lies on the edge of the western continent. The airship, the Blackbird, is maintained there as well. Ooh, well, that's good to know, too. The queen has sealed away the great elemental weapons and armors forged within, with the power of the sun in the shrine to the north. You can see its entrance on the northern continent, but no one is allowed inside it now. Well, that looks familiar. That looks like the thing that we saw back in the uh, the City of the Fiends. I am Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge each in turn. The door to the Northern Shrine is sealed by a powerful force. Even we, the Enlightened Ones, lack the means to open it. Welcome. Have you come to do business? I don't know. You guys all the worth buying? Should get a couple more shelters. I mean, I've only got a million gold, so I'm only going to buy a couple of shelters just to save on cash. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, uh... While I'm at it... Mm, we don't need the ruby vests anymore, so let's go ahead and sell those. We do don't need the stone helms anymore. So we'll sell those. And we're keeping those magic capsules. We'll be using those soon enough. Hey, what's wrong? You have something to say? What a weird kid. What's wrong with him? The black winds howl. That sounds familiar. One among you will shortly perish. Hey, what do you mean? What? What's that supposed to mean? That was kind of creepy. It's only a bad joke. Prophecy is completely unscientific. <laughs> um... Do you guys remember somebody else saying something about the black winds howling? I'll leave you to ponder on that one while we continue on. Don't worry, I'll remind you of it later. This is a font of recovery. Rest your wearied mind and body within, traveler. Nice. The queen's palace sits at the heart of our kingdom. She watches over all the world from its high vantage point. It's because of that we can sleep our days away in peace. All right, that's got to be wind. So we got fire, water, wind. There should be one more book, though. Shouldn't there? I wonder what's within the northern shrine. No doubt the key to unlock its seal is held at the palace. But entry there is strictly forbidden in the name of Her Majesty the Queen. Are we missing a book? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It is just the three. All right, water, wind, fire. So we'll go water, wind. I 
did all this by trial and error the first time. Fire. Oh. What's this? Actually. You know what? Before I find out what this is, let's go ahead and do a save real quick. Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured I'd have to do that one again. But, uh, saving seemed important. Water. Wind. Fire. Oh. The guru of reason is gone. Do you want to challenge me? Okay. All right, prepare yourselves. Aha. Let's just hit with all we got, right? The big stuff. Bam. Because some of these guys hit you for everything up to one, and others hit for one. And I don't remember which is which. Although hopefully that just nuked them all anyway, and then I don't have to worry about which is which. Bam. Sweet. Oh, that was a waste of a bunch of tech points. I should have had Ayla with me. Alright, you're strong. Take this. And another magic capsule and a speed capsule. And the new disappeared. That for days of the new. The Mystery of Life, Volume 841, Chapter 26. <laughs> This seems like a Monty Python chapter heading. All life begins and ends with new. This is the undeniable truth because I believe it to be so, at least for the present. Um, okay. I'll take the XP and the capsules. And I'll replenish. Yep, there we go. Replenished hit points, magic points. And I believe that's everything we can do in here for now. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and swap out some of the party real quick. Because we've got those capsules that we picked up. And for the magic capsules... Um, hmm. We'll bump up Chrono because he's the hero. We'll bump up Ayla so that way your magic point cost won't be so bad. And for the speed, we're going to bump up Robo because he is slow as all get out. Alright, and that's all we need to use in there. So let's get our party back in order. And oh, before I forget again, let's go ahead and save now that we've done a bit. And head to the land bridge. Where we get teleported down to the ground below. You're really telling me that the good people in the high skies are teleporting down into this um, unkind climate? <laughs> All right. And let's go back up. What's on this island, you say? I'm glad you asked. We'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> Thanks for joining so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There is a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live. And definitely, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out and you'll get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live, folks. Give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.